Well hey guys, in today's video I have some sunscreen reviews for you all from Color Science that I think you're really going to be excited to hear about. Their new Flex line and then their new matte sunscreen. These sunscreens are really innovative and they offer a really nice array of sunscreens for different skin tones that I think you guys are gonna be excited to hear about. Um, this video is not sponsored, but as a disclaimer, I am doing paid promotion for these products over on Instagram. Um, so, but this isn't sponsored. I did get a lot of requests, however, um, to do a video on these. So I, um, and I really, you know, I think you guys are gonna like hearing about these. All right, Face Shield Flex is a new sunscreen from Color Science that's really cool, you guys. I've really been excited about this particular product. It is a tinted sunscreen, but it's unlike any tinted sunscreen I have ever used before because they actually take the pigment, the iron oxides, and they encapsulate it. So the sunscreen comes out white, but then as you rub the sunscreen between your fingers and onto your skin or rubbing it into your skin, the pigment starts to bloom and blend in with your skin. This product comes in four different shades, fair, medium, which is what I use, tan and deep. So they offer four shades. All right, you guys, these are the swatches. This is fair, medium, tan, and deep. The coverage is actually pretty medium in terms of the coverage of maybe dark spots, hyperpigmentation, things that you're trying to camouflage. But what's nice about this is that as you reapply, it's actually buildable coverage. So you get even more coverage of any underlying blemishes, discoloration, things that you would reach for makeup to camouflage. So that's a really cool thing. And it hides any undertones. Now, in terms of the uh, active sunscreen ingredient in the Flex products, you have a um, non-nano uh, triple coated zinc oxide that gives really good protection against UVB and UVA rays. UVB, as a reminder, that's the rays that primarily burn the skin, but then the UVA rays are the rays that penetrate the skin really deeply, destroy collagen, generate a lot of inflammation. And both of these are what leads to the types of damage in the skin that ultimately can put you at risk for skin cancers down the road. The other nice thing about these, and why I love Color Science so much and continue to agree to partnerships with them, is that they really take their testing to a, another level and they actually measure the ability of their sunscreens to not only protect against UVB and UVA, and not only to be water resistant, which these are as a side note, but they also measure the ability of their sunscreens to protect against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light, namely blue light or the HEV uh, wavelength that really affects people of medium to deep skin tones. These rays, they uh, lead to early onset and more stubborn hyperpigmentation. So for people who maybe develop a blemish or any kind of skin irritation and their skin heals with a dark mark, using a sunscreen with iron oxides can actually protect your skin from those pro-pigmenting wavelengths. Unfortunately, the devil is in the details when it comes to the sunscreen. It's not simply um, the protection doesn't simply come from adding iron oxides. It has to do with the concentration of iron oxides as well as the different types. There's red, yellow, and black iron oxides. Having all three in there is really what helps get you to that visible light protection and the formulation overall. So what I'm getting at is that a sunscreen can have iron oxides in it, but it may not necessarily offer the best protection against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. Because manufacturers don't have to test for that, it's really hard to just look at a product and know for sure. Color Science does that testing. That is why I really like them. Uh, because they, they actually have, you know, they actually confirm that their products do protect against those wavelengths of visible light. All right, this product, the other type of testing that they do on their products is they actually show a reduction in free radical formation um, with their products. Their products do have antioxidants in them. They have 
um, a patented antioxidant blend, and they have niacinamide as well. Now, whether or not the antioxidants get into the skin, I'm you know a little suspicious, but they have made some attempt to at least quantify the reduction of free radical damage with their sunscreens. Uh, that being said, you know assays that measure free radical formation. They have limitations, so I still take that with a grain of salt, but I appreciate that they at least measure that because again, they're not required to seek out that information or test it or anything like that. On the skin, it has what is described as a demi-matte finish. Now, their original Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield, the original one, it has, if you've ever used it, it has more of a dewy finish. This has a little bit of that dewiness but a little bit of a matte finish as well. It's somewhere in between dewy and matte. The formula overall is pretty lightweight. It's not greasy or heavy on the skin and it doesn't, it stays in place well. It doesn't, you know, do that creeping, crawling, peeling up or you know, making those little balls and beads. It stays on the skin really well. It's also hydrating. It has silver ear mushroom in it, which is, you know, a type of humectant uh, in cosmetics. Uh, and it also has a blend of silicones, which provide a nice lightweight, non-greasy, yet moisturizing formulation overall. Let's talk about what the shades actually look at like. You, I personally like using the medium shade. That looks the best on me. I find that the light shade is more in keeping with the appearance of their original, if not a little bit lighter, kind of a slight peachy, peachy tone. The tan shade, however, is too deep for me, and it has a bit more of the kind of brown-orange undertones. Better for a medium to deep skin tone. The deep is definitely too dark for my skin tone, um, and it would be a good option for a deeper skin tone. It, to me, it looks like I have like, if, if I use the deep on my skin, it really ends up looking like I have a really, really intense sunless tanner on. Like I have just been putting on sunless tanner day in, day out. Um, so it is a it is a deeper, deeper shade for sure. Now, it doesn't look right on my skin, but if you have a deeper skin tone, the way that these pigments release kind of blends in with your skin tone. So I think, I wouldn't necessarily go off of how it looks on my skin and try and assume that that's how it will look on your skin if you have a deeper skin tone, if that makes sense. Just because of the way that the pigments are kind of released and blend into your, your background skin. The formulation is water resistant, so it stays in place really well on the skin. I put it around my eyelids with no problems. However, when I posted this on my Instagram, I did get some comments and feedback of people who have tried this saying that it settles in the creases. So be aware of that, that might be an issue for you, but I personally have had no issue with that happening with this product. I do know that their three-in-one total eye that I also love, People often comment that that settles in their creases as well. So if you use that product, you found that it settled in your creases, I would say this might settle in creases for you as well. But for me, I, you know, it's been great and I really have been enjoying using it. Now, you may be wondering, how does this differ? I already kind of touched on how this differs from the, from the original um, Sun Forgettable Total Face Shield. How does it differ from their glow sunscreen and their bronze sunscreen? The glow and the bronze, you can think of those as luminizers. Uh, the glow sunscreen offers a lighter color coverage. So meaning that if you have a dark spot, it's not going to necessarily ca camouflage it. Um, and the bronze is like a sunless tanner look. I mean, it's really like what you're going for for a, you know, kind of, glowy bronzed goddess. However, you actually can use the two together. You can layer on the flex and on top of that, you can put on the bronze. You can use it even to uh, highlight over the flex in certain areas. If you're used to using a bronzer as a highlighter, um, that are contouring. Uh, if you use bronzer to contour, uh, I think that the bronze 
is a great option because you're contouring with another type of sunscreen. So that's the face shield flex. All right, and then last but not least, let's talk about their new matte sunscreen. As of the filming of this video, it's actually sold out on their website. Um, but the matte sunscreen is formulated for people with oily, acne-prone skin. It's got these uh, silicone powders in them that wick up and absorb excess oiliness to allow for the formulation to not feel greasy, heavy, and to really just leave the skin touchably smooth. Those silicone powders really help reduce the shininess of, sun of the sunscreen as well. So I know a lot of you guys detest having shiny sunscreens. This one isn't shiny at all. It's, it's bills itself as being matte, but it's not a drying matte finish. So if you really like that tight drying matte, you're not gonna get that with this, but it's not shiny. So this differs from their original Sun Forgettable Total Face Shield and that the original Sun Forgettable Total Face Shield is definitely a dewy finish, whereas this is not like that. However, I don't find that it is like super matte. Uh, I personally don't enjoy very matte products, I find them to be drying. Um, this is moisturizing, probably because of the, it, it has the, the mushroom extract and the silicones that are lubricating and moisturizing. Uh, but it's not, it's not shiny like their other sunscreens. Or, you know, their other sunscreens have that kind of dewy look. Similar to all of their other products, there's no pilling with this. It stays in place well. It too is water resistant. And like the other products, protects not only against UVA and UVB, but also against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. This is tinted. The tint on this, I was expecting with this product, I was expecting it to be identical to their original formulation, only with a matte finish. However, it's not. It is a more brown-orange hue, as opposed to their original formulation is a lot peachier. So for people with paler skin, I don't think you're going to care for the tint on this. It is more, it is actually, the tint is actually kind of similar to the CeraVe hydrating tinted sunscreen as far as the appearance of it. Like the Flex, this uses their triple coated zinc oxide uh, for the UVA, UVB protection. For those of you with really oily, shiny skin, I definitely would encourage you to try out their sheer matte powder SPF 30 to dust on over your sunscreen, it really helps mattify the shine from sunscreen. Um, so if you find that to be the case, or you know maybe their new matte sunscreen doesn't quite uh, match your shade to your liking, but you have another sunscreen that you use that you like the way it appears, but it's just maybe a little too shiny, definitely try this. It's very good at mattifying and it helps with absorbing excess oiliness as well. Now, all of these sunscreens, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. They're triple coated zinc oxide. So if you have really sensitive skin, you find that chemical sunscreens burn, sting, you may you know, try, give these a try. They're, they're very good uh, mineral sunscreens offering broad spectrum protection against UVB and UVA, as well as the fact that they're tinted and they have very good protection against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. Um, and that visible light, the HEV, it also, not only does it cause uh, problems for people who are trying to correct hyperpigmentation, but it has been shown to lead to a lot of free radicals in the skin that ultimately can contribute to aging of the skin. All right, guys, those are the new products from Color Science. I have been a longtime fan of them. I know that they are a lot more expensive than the products that I typically recommend but I've been using their products for many years now. I stand by them, they are very good. And sometimes when it comes to sunscreen, you really get what you pay for. I think they look very nice and things that look nice on the skin, feel nice on the skin, or are comfortable to wear, you're more likely to wear. And these have always been a favorite of mine. Um, so comment below and if you have tried these, what your experience with them has been. I always appreciate your feedback on things like this. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.